Hey class, hope you all are having a good week. Uh, this is our last project, which is super exciting. Um, and I am going to be talking about the Garmin Era 660. The Garmin 660 is a portable GPS, uh, wireless, and it's compact and light. It's super cool, it can mount up on all of your uh, panels, yokes, um, any sort of cross beam that you want. It's really versatile, um, super easy to use. Um, one thing that's awesome is it's light, so at least when you're bush flying, you can uh, have a lighter thing rather than a big GPS on your panel. Um, wireless is nice. You, uh, you can plug it in while you're flying, but um, otherwise, if you charge it up, it's pretty nice to not have wires hanging all over. And it's easy to move around. Um, you can use it in every plane you want. Uh, one cool thing about it is the mapping. Uh, there's IFR and VFR maps that you can load on it. Um, sometimes even you can get your vertical navigation while you're flying into an airport. Um, you can use your finger to move around the map while you're flying to look at areas that are around you, uh, which is really helpful as you're going on a cross country. Uh, one cool thing is you can, there's a one touch airspace information, which uh, you could tap on the airspace and get a lot of knowledge and the details of that airspace. Um, just kind of keep yourself ahead of the game and more prepared. Next thing is synthetic vision. Uh, this is super cool, especially if you get yourself into bad weather. Um, it gives you a 3D, you can choose a 3D look or just the normal synthetic look, uh, which is where you can't see your plane. Um, it shows you possible obstacles or towers and usually highlights them in red so that you can stay away from those areas. Um, it can display heights, uh, MSL and AGL heights of certain obstacles or mountains, just anything that you have to watch out for. Um, there's color coding, usually green means you're good, yellow means you're coming up on uh, within, f sorry, you're above 500 feet from that obstacle, and then red is you're within 500 feet, so pretty helpful as you're flying around. Um, the next thing is it's an electronic flight bag. Uh, it can hold IFR charts, and uh, that includes approaches and uh, departures. Um, this is helpful, especially uh, then you don't need more than one GPS. You don't need your iPad because you can just look down, um, find your approach or departure on your Garmin uh, 660 and uh, load it. Fly it with your plane uh, shown on the map. Makes it easy to follow the lines and know your altitudes without looking back and forth. Um, it can show uh, the supplement. You can read up on it, the airports if you need to. Um, fuel, uh, what airports have fuel. Gives you times like how far, uh, how long until you're at your depart, uh, approach, sorry, your destination. Um, so that's all super cool. Um, and it can also show you your satellites. So if you are, uh, if your connection is kind of poor, you can figure that out and uh, find ways to fix that. Um, another cool thing is the alerts. Uh, it'll warn you for traffic if you're connected to an ADS-B function um, or if you have internet uh, traffic on. Um, it'll show you weather. So you can avoid uh, hazardous weather like thunderstorms or uh, hard rain. Um, it will also show you obstacles and it will um, give you a warning of how close you are to that obstacle. And same with terrain. It will let you know if you are too close to terrain. Uh, another cool thing is you can connect it to your panel. Um, this allows you to connect to your transponder or your radio, you can load in um, extra uh, frequencies for standby. Um, you can also connect to your transponder so uh, traffic can pop up. You could also put in some sort of uh, transponder code. Um, this takes a cord um, and you have to buy that separately, but it's pretty nice. 
Another cool thing is there's Wi-Fi in it, so you can connect to that Wi-Fi and update your uh, subscription, keep all your charts uh, up to date and uh, approaches. You can also connect to cameras and ADS-B, which is pretty cool because then you could turn on a camera if you're uh, flying around taking footage. Um, you could take pictures or video from your 660, which is awesome. And the ADS-B is great. You do need to buy um, something like the Sentry to get ADS-B uh, or install it into your plane, um, which is expensive, but it's always nice to have an extra piece to be aware. Um, last thing, this reminds me of the verse um, Isaiah 58:11. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. Um, it, it just is a good reminder, like our GPSs are great for guiding us, um, and he as well is a great guide and will lead us in the right path. Here are my references, and thanks, and have a good week.